right, so our visit to Kings Canyon National Park has come to an end. We've been on the road for 40 days now, and sometimes you start to think that it can be a little underwhelming and that you can't be amazed anymore, but this park changed that for sure. This, this Kings Canyon Scenic Byway, you have to take it. If you're in Sequoia National Park, take the drive. You could probably do it in four hours total. Very well worth it. Now we are at the Redwood Mountain Overlook. Definitely a great stop to take. It's one of the last stops when you're leaving Kings Canyon and headed to Sequoia National Park. And behind us is one of the world's largest groves of the largest trees. Right behind us, you're looking at over 2,100 trees that are 10 foot in diameter or bigger. Doesn't look like it from here, but they are. Okay, we are on our way to go see the world's largest tree. Not the tallest tree, that was Hyperion if you watch our video on Redwoods National Forest. Not the widest tree, but the largest tree by volume, General Sherman. All right, so behind us, right there, is the General Sherman, and it is massive. The top part is dead. It's, it got burnt, so the top, it is no longer growing, but it is getting wider. Every season, it actually grows wider, and every year, it grows the volume of another full tree. So it's going to keep its title for a while. Yes, it will. And one of the branches coming out at the top, it's so massive, it's like the size of a large tree just sticking out the side of it. So behind us, this slab is 2,210 years old, and they estimate it's been through about 80 different fires. Believe it or not, sequoias need fires to survive and to continue growing. When you have a fire, it opens up the pine needles and the seeds on the top of the trees, and then once the fire burns out, the seeds drop, a nice fertilized ground, and it sprouts millions of sequoias every time there's a fire. So we're at the museum, and that the sentinel tree, which is to my left, they have a basically a ruler of it laying down and it stretches all the way down to the end there and then the width of it is right here and at the base it is 28 feet thick and 86 feet in circumference and this is the 20 foot marker and you can actually walk all the way back I'll keep giving you the marker so it's like you're climbing the tree Two hundred and. 257 feet tall is that tree. We're on the Morro Rock right now. It's about 350 stairs to get up here. Pretty doable. There's some kind of narrow passageways in between, but a fun little hike and <laughs> some like pretty water. amazing view. So put it on the list. Of course, if you found value in this video, comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we will see you. I'm about to run a mile on the hottest place on earth.